People may be pure in their own eyes, but the Lord examines their motives. Amen. Are you frustrated at the rate of your hair growth? Has your hair been the same length for years and years? Well, you've definitely landed on the right video because I've started an entire series called Hair Goals, which will help you grow your hair to the best of your ability. In my journey, I've managed to grow waist length hair twice. Yes, I said that, twice. So make sure you watch until the end to find out how. I know you clicked this video because you're just wondering how to transition the best way possible or big chop if that's what you're looking at. So welcome back to Hair Goals where I teach you how to grow your hair to waist length. And this is gonna be episode 10, okay? This is our 10th episode in this series, so rocking. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to transition your hair as fast and as pain-free as possible, okay? I know transitioning, the big chop, all of these things can be incredibly scary, but I'm here to help you. And in my process of transitioning, and I did so for three whole years, I learned so much. And in this video, I'm gonna be focusing on transitioning because I know it can be incredibly challenging, okay? Dealing with two different textures that just do not like each other can leave you with massive breakage. So if you've clicked on this video, you've definitely, definitely come to the right place because I'm gonna help you transition successfully, okay? Without breaking your hair off in six simple steps. And it truly doesn't matter where you are on this transitioning journey because these steps will be very, very useful to you. Sorry to interrupt, but make sure that you subscribe. It's free. And make sure you hit the bell button so that you do not miss any of my uploads. First of all, well done for joining Team Natural. Because this decision is so much more than skin deep. You are ultimately refusing to accept, okay, what society calls beauty and beginning to redefine that by yourself, accepting who you are and how God ultimately created you. So number one is just that, is to learn to love yourself because anything in life all begins and it ends in the mind. And going natural is a mental process just as much as it is a physical one. And before we get into the tips and tricks as to how to maximize your transitioning journey, just know that you look after and you take care of what you love. So you must begin to right now, accept the hair that you have and begin to love it. No matter what stage you are at, whether you've just big chops or you've been transitioning for one day or one year or two years, love the stage you're in. And this is so, so important because you ultimately avoid the mistakes that people make subconsciously due to self-hatred. So number two, at this point, you probably don't know your hair type, your hair texture, all of that stuff, but one thing that all naturals suffer with is dry hair. So you definitely need to stock up on more moisturizing products and incorporate deep conditioning as part of your journey. But I will say before you go out and buy the whole shop, not every single product you use is gonna work for you. So if you can buy the smaller size and test it so that you know if it works, you can go ahead and spend the money to get a bigger size. But at this point, you don't know what your hair likes. So I definitely advise you to buy the smaller size products in whatever you're buying. So when you buy those smaller size products like travel size or test size, try it on your hair and just see if it works. See if your hair actually enjoys this product in it and then you can know whether to buy it or not because this will help you avoid wasting money on things that just do not work and I know we all hate that. <laughs> and definitely, definitely try to use things in your kitchen if you're really into more of the DIY. I know not everyone is but if you are, try using things that are already in your kitchen like olive oil, aloe vera, honey, all of these natural great organic ingredients our hair genuinely really loves. And I have a video all about how I make my DIY concoctions and you can definitely check that out if you want kind of some inspiration or some recipes to try in your hair. So number three is truly important. You are gonna have this. So I want this comment section to be a great forum for anyone who is transitioning out there. So go ahead and comment below your hair texture, your hair porosity, your hair density and your current routine, including your favorite products. And also make sure you include how long you have been transitioning for. But if you finished, let us know how long you did transition for in the past. So this will allow the comment section just to be a great forum for any girls out there who are transitioning, struggling on their journey, 
just to give them some assistance. That's what I really want this video to be for. This new bossy texture who thinks that they know everything in life. Okay, and it's gonna be very, 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 I can, if I, there's not enough varies in the world to describe how hard it's gonna be to detangle your hair now, because not only is your hair difficult to detangle, you're now dealing with your hair, which is difficult to detangle, being attached to straight hair. And at that point of demarcation, your hair is very, 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 very fragile. So it's really important that you take your time and detangle with the absolute utmost care. Because if you don't detangle safely, your hair is ultimately gonna break off. And avoiding this kind of mess is the fastest way to grow your hair. And one thing you really wanna make sure is that you're not breaking off all of your ends. Obviously you want to transition into this new lovely curly, kinky quality texture, but you don't wanna just like break off all of your ends by poor manipulation because that will ultimately just give you split ends in your afro hair and it's just not a good habit to have because you will then take that into your natural afro hair and probably break off some more and your new hair is going to be a lot more thicker so be mentally spiritually physically prepared okay to just spend a little bit a lot i mean more time in the shower detangling your hair because that texture is going to be unlike any other it's going to be thick it's gonna be kinky it's gonna be coily and it's gonna be beautiful okay you're gonna love it but with all of that it just makes it a lot harder to detangle and number four is to just trim your hair bit by bit and this is a great way of just getting the length you want without trying too hard and it's something that I did along with the rest of the tip because by trimming your hair it will help you kind of maintain the length you've always had but slowly and surely your natural texture will then begin to take over and that will allow you to just kind of get rid of all of those relaxed ends so definitely trim as you go on take your time don't rush it you're transitioning because ultimately you don't want a big chop so take your time to just trim your ends because it's that way you won't even notice much difference in your hair length if you're doing that okay so this next tip is truly probably one of the most important tips because this is how i genuinely believe anyone out there is able tr to transition successfully the quickest all those good things and that is to protective style i know i know you've probably heard this a million bajillion times but it's truly important okay to keep your hair away just kind of guarded in this season protected because you don't what you don't want to do is have your hair out all the time because when you do your hair you're going to be manipulating your hair far too often and because your hair is already fragile the best place for it to be is within a protective style. So instead of just trying to style your hair in these awkward positions, just put it away for a season, every three months or however long you kind of want to keep in your protective style, put it in and let it flourish. But something that's really important with, this, with these protective styles is that when you take out these protective styles, do not, okay, I repeat, do not undo all of the good work you've done by keeping it rested for three months or so, by breaking it off, by poor detangling when you remove that protective style. Truly take the time to detangle safely. And I actually have a video all about my detangling method, which is still really useful for anyone who's transitioning because ultimately you're gonna be dealing with a texture that is very prone to tangling. So I definitely recommend trying to finger detangle where possible and then detangle with a comb or a brush, whichever you wanna use, so long as it's wide tooth thereafter but it's really important to take the time to detangle your hair very safely don't do it when it's dry section it off if you need to if it's too big and overwhelming section your hair off make sure your hair is wet soaked in conditioner and make sure you use your hands first and this is when you're kind of at the latter stages of detangling when i mean of transitioning when your hair's kind of gotten a lot longer and it's still prone to tangling. So protective style, but please, please do endeavor to detangle very safely when you are taking out those protective styles because that can actually reverse all of the good stuff you've been doing in growing your hair in that protective style, okay? So number six is the best routine you can have for transitioning hair. This is the routine that I personally had whilst I was, whilst I was transitioning and that was to wash with shampoo, 
to detangle with conditioner in the shower and as my hair got longer I tried to finger detangle more and stay away from the combs and then once you've detangled go ahead and deep condition that baby and I would normally blow dry my hair to get it stretched out and tangle free because you were you because we already know on this channel that stretched hair is the best hair for kinky coily hair wash detangle deep condition blow it out and then put my hair away in a protective style and that's all i did for three years and my hair flourished i trimmed my hair every so often every time i took out a protective style i would just give myself a little trim and i would put it right back in and that's literally all i did i made sure that I detangled safely and that really really helped I used moisturizing products I used oil I used all that good stuff these things in your routine figuring out what your hair works truly helped my hair flourish I mean flourish I wish I had pictures about with my transitioning hair but back then this was in like 2011 to like 2014 I didn't I don't even know what phone I had it was probably like it definitely wasn't an iPhone, so I don't have pictures, unfortunately. Um, but as I said, I transitioned for three years doing this method and just leaving my hair alone. And it wasn't until the third year, I kind of blew my hair out. And I have a video all about how I, how I blew out my hair during that season. When I blew it out, literally my relaxed ends were no more. And I guess I was fully natural. So to summarize, keep it moisturized, detangle well, protective style and just leave it alone so that it can flourish and I guarantee you your hair will be looking beautiful so if you want more information about how I grow my hair so long definitely go and watch the rest of the series because it's all going to be such useful information part of the greater puzzle on healthy hair growth if you haven't subscribed already what are you doing join the family okay um and definitely like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one and if there's anything you want me to cover that i haven't covered yet definitely definitely comment below i'm a great at answering comments okay i'm just gonna say so leave a comment below i want this video to be a great thread for all of you transitioning big chop chicks okay if you're currently transitioning definitely 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 all you big chop put down your hair texture your hair type your hair porosity and also your favorite products and routine just so the comment section can just kind of be more of a forum for girls to just kind of come in and try kind of see where their hair is and also put in how long you've been, been transitioning for just so it can be a forum for girls just to help each other i think that's really important so go ahead comment below all those things i'll probably list it somewhere here but definitely do that but anyway i love you guys and i'll see you on the next video peace out